Good morning, YouTube. I was trying to find an angle that didn't show how horrible my house was. Couldn't find one. I had to tap my you tap down the tobacco. <laughs> Old habits, man. This is one of my clinchers, you know. Wish I could have stopped doing. I broke one of my front teeth a little piece off. Wish I could go to the dentist sooner or later. I hate the dentist, but you gotta go. Well, I don't hate Louise, but everybody else. You know. So, um, Kevin had surgery yesterday, again, on his uh, foot, took off the fifth bone or something of his foot. So here we go again. Um, so it's just a waiting game. I'm still wanting to get to Texas. Uh, it's gonna be tough to get there, though. If he, if everything goes right and he heals up great, then I'm still going. He can fend for himself for a couple of weeks. And if not, if he's good enough to go, then he can go with me. But uh, I've just put it off and put it off. And I'm not going to end up with this year going by without seeing my kitties. Uh, let's see. So what was going on? Oh, this is one of my clinchers. It's a, a knob heel. That's it. Um, and if you'll see, it's all really, really horrible. And it's maybe even cracked for all I know because it's a clincher. I had it for years. But I'm going through my pipes and I'm giving some of them a, a last smoke before I send them away because this one I think I'm going to be sending to uh, Rad Pops uh, to Robert and let him um, clean it up, fix it up, and put it into the uh, soldier's hands if he wants to. I also have um, another friend I'm going to send uh, some pipes to, but I'm looking at more like a, a falcon type for him. He uh, doesn't have a lot of pipes. Is best pipe is, is his uh, cob and so uh, but he was talking about different bowls and stuff different bowl sizes and things and you know one of the pipes that's really so truly nice about bowl size <coughs> is a, a nice falcon or a falcon-ish type pipe because everybody made a medico I almost wished I hadn't um, gotten rid of my little Lennox but you know I loved that Lennox I really did I smoked it long enough uh, I got rid of it to uh, Chris, a uh, wonderful tattoo artist. She's just uh, really, I really adore her. And um, she's on Instagram. And so I sold that to her, but it's it was another one of those falconish type where the bowl screwed off. However, there was only one bowl for it, and it was a beautiful pipe. But I just, you guys, you, you have no idea. I brought up one pipe in that box, and that was just a, a little bitty, you know, old last pipe packed up box so I uh, I gotta keep bringing boxes up but right now I'm into other things again I'm making Halloween mask now in the old days when I said I made Halloween mask it was usually like you know that went into a costume and stuff but now it's like these <laughs> I mean life has sure changed and I don't know if I hit up on this last time or not but just you know the you guys your your bathtub shower rail has changed well, it has for me because I grew up so many years ago. Um, I remember the days of... I remember the days of going into the bathroom and what's hanging up is hosiery and... and uh, garter belts and, and garters and uh, even girdles. <laughs> they had the little things to fit it into. And other things, too, that only girls remember, but girls remember the old sanitary napkins. If you don't remember them, then you don't know what I'm talking about anyway. But it was like, phew, you had to have a whole piece of, of equipment to use those. Um, anyway, so that used to hang on, on the shower. And then it was, um, you know, the the nicer stuff, the nicer nightgowns, the lingerie, the the cute underwear, and stuff like that, and pantyhose, tons and tons of pantyhose. Well, that was for most people. I've never worn pantyhose. Uh, I was always one of those ones that wore the thigh highs and, and kept my little garters and stuff because that was just who I was. Uh, and besides, you know, the single garters on your legs were great for holding them up. You didn't have to wear the garter belt and all that jazz. Oh, I, way off subject, aren't I? <laughs> Guys are going, what the hell is she talking about? 
Then on the curtain rod would be after that, you know, like I said, was the pantyhose and stuff. And now when I go into the shower, there's hanging all these masks, you know, as I wash them each day and everything. And it's like, this is, this is not right. <laughs> there should still be sexy stuff hanging off that, that uh, shower rod every day instead of safety equipment masks. Um, well, anyway, that was my subject. That's about all I had to say about that. Um, I got a package from Professor Jeremiah. I was talking about how I was really needing uh, to get some little pieces of leather to make new little leather pennies. And I said, if anybody has some, send me some. Well, Professor sent me some. Thank you. It's Professor Jeremiah. He was so fun to watch. I used to watch him all the time. And then YouTube sent him away. <laughs> but I got him back now. So, But anyway, along with sending me... Are you still there? <laughs> YouTube fixed that. <laughs> and the old editing YouTube, you used to be able to make them fix the... The, this part, so it was all, you know, like that, but uh, they don't do that anymore. They don't have anything in their edit anymore. YouTube was always so wonderful, but pfft, now it's nothing, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to go and upload it to another link to fix it and then put it down to the YouTube. You just get it as it comes, ladies and gentlemen. You just get it as it comes. Okay, so, as I was talking, I can, eh? <laughs> Look here. <laughs> I'm giving you my hand. <laughs> you need a hand? <laughs> I hope in hand. Anyway. Well, I think I've been drinking too much this morning or too much caffeine and nicotine mix. Probably alcohol. But he sent me a package. And with that package, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to send this one to get it redone and going away. It's, it's, it's old. Look at me. Uh, anyway, so, Professor Jeremiah, he had been smoking some vanilla custard, and I told him how, oh, I like that. And so he sent me some, which is always a wonderful thing. I hadn't gotten any yabos in, in a, a while um, that were not, well, yeah, I had. I got one from Stephanie, and I got a great one from Yorkshire uh, Posse, but I wasn't supposed to talk about it, but aren't those... Oh, doesn't, isn't that Rick Black setting into that? Does, have you ever seen a stand that looked like it was made for it more than that one? I mean, it just hits where the band is, perfect, beautiful. Love those things. They're called pipe thrones. Can you see that? Or is it on the wrong way? Anyway, they're really neat. Um, but um, where were we? Oh, he sent me some of that custard, uh, the vanilla custard, which has been wonderful because it's just, it smells like I've been uh, cooking uh, French toast here because I always add vanilla into my French toast mix, so it's almost kind of a, a French toast smell in my house. But even better than that, you guys, you know I love accessories. I have uh, PAD, Pipe Equus. Acquisition disorder. I have TAD, which is tobacco acquisition disorder. I've about got over both of those. I thought I was doing really good. Now I have AAD, accessory. I was doing a tamper thing for a while, but accessories. So he sent me something that I have never had. And so I just think that is so neat. It is a thing for your pipe cleaners. I like it that it has this little extra strap because I laid, I, when I was using it last night, I tied it to the outside of my drawer. So I had them right there at hand. So thank you. And I don't know if you can see, but it's really neatly tooled. I have a thing for leather, I think. I've always had a thing for leather. Um, I'll have to get out some of my leather clothes. The problem is, is you know, over the years, you outgrow that stuff, and if you don't wear that leather and keep that leather soft and stuff, uh, you usually, you know, don't have good pieces left. I usually pass it on to somebody who's using it, but I pass on everything. I'm a, I don't know, I'm cheap. 
<laughs> but if there's something, you know, that, that I want and I can get it a cheaper way, I do it. Um, but some things you just can't get cheap, like sequin material, my Christmas masks, because I got sequin clothes. And then, you you know, you just can't buy, well, you saw with Stephanie when she had that pipe tobacco material and stuff. You just can't buy uh, tobacco, I mean, <laughs> material, reasonable. I used to make all my clothes. I still do to a certain extent. Sometimes I just take something and, and remake it that I've bought that I that I liked but didn't quite work. So I remake it, and I've done that for years and stuff. But um, it's amazing how much uh, clothes I have built up over the years. But I used to be have to wear black and white all the time where I worked, and I worked there for 23 years, and and it was an accounting firm, and you could accessorize with colors, but both, basically it was mostly black clothing. So since I had to go with black clothing for all those years, I went ahead and went on to the other side. You know me. It's just like these masks. These masks are no longer a political statement or a health statement or anything else. For me, the masks are now an accessory. And so I like wearing them. Um, so I went over to the other side. When, when I was working for the accounting firm, and, and they said, you're supposed to wear black and stuff. It was like... Well, shit, who likes black? Because I was never into blacks, browns, dark blues, even as a kid. I was around a little fat kid, and I i don't know why, but one day I was at the supermarket, and I saw these two boxes of Tide, and you know how bright Tide is. And, and the little box was looked exactly like the big box. And I, I don't know, there was something about that that hit me as, wait, why? Why are people who are bigger, you know? And we're talking about in the '60s, of course. How? Why are we doomed to only wear dark black, dark brown, dark blue? The difference in people say, "Well, the dark colors make you look slimmer." Well, for crying out loud, for the two, maybe three pounds different, it's going to make you look. Is it worth wearing dull colors? So anyway, so I worked for a company that said you had to wear black. So I went to the opposite side since I had to wear black. I had all kinds of wonderful hats, uh, feather hats and stuff, which I've gotten rid of or, or traded around and, and stuff. And uh, I went and golf. I mean, I had black hair, black coal on the eyes all the time, really black, black look, dark fingernails, dark lipstick all the time. I had fangs that had been put on, dental fangs that had been put on, and that's why this one is broke, because when they took the fang out about after 13 years of having it, uh, they broke the cap on it, so uh, kind of lost that tooth, and, and just, I had a little flipper in there. Boy, this has really gone all over the place, hasn't it? Well, I am uh, in the process of a uh, process of trying to get this place done. Kevin's, like I say, he's pretty much downstairs uh, being as he is uh, unable to put any weight bearing on that foot. So we don't know how much longer that's going to be. This has been going on since April. Uh, he broke his, uh, he broke three toes in April and they went to what they call Sharko, Sharko or something. And, and so they didn't heal right, and then it went through the bottom of his foot. Him being diabetic, it went bad real fast. And then after they took off a third of his foot, uh, I guess the outside edges of his bones begin to uh, shatter. So they had to go in and remove a bunch of that. So here we go again. It's almost like starting over from start. <laughs> but that's all right. This is uh, You Love Them In Spite Of... Um, you know, you just, you do what you got to do. Life will be good again one day. I'm just not sure we eat. Um, but I am going to uh, have to take a vacation from all this. Like I said, I've been, you know, dealing with um, at the old house when we, when I came back from Texas back in May last year, it was flooding and then I had to deal with the mold and then Danny died and then it was, you know, another flood in our basement and had to move half the stuff into storage and then try to look for a new house and find a new house and then Kevin breaks his foot so I'm doing the moving, packing and unpacking and it just goes on and on. God, life is good, really. I'm not bitching. It did sound like that though. 
I was whining. That's it. I was whining. No, I'm not drinking wine. I'm drinking mudslides, so I'm sliding. <laughs> Just saying hi, hello, how you doing? Whining about my problems, talking to my friends, and like I said, finishing up some of. You know, this is gonna, like I said, it's gonna be the last one. See the silver needs. It, it wasn't a very expensive pipe, and you can tell, you know. But really, look at how horrible I have been on that bit. I am horrible. It's just, I don't know if even Rob's going to be able to fix it. It might have been repaired once already. <laughs> They're my pipes. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. You know I'm watching you.